Aha! Hi everyone, today's lecture is about tumor lysis syndrome or TLS. Tumor lysis syndrome is a medical emergency that happens with people who have cancer. So in tumor lysis syndrome, what happened is basically it's in the name. Tumor cells lysis, which basically the tumor cells disintegrate and that through the breakdown of the membrane of these cells. So this tumor lysis syndrome doesn't happen with every types of cancer. It happens with those who have high number of cancer cells or large size of cancer cells. And what happened is that the cells release their component into the surrounding tissue and into the bloodstream. And part of these components, it's the DNA. And part of the DNA is a purine. And through the process of purine catabolism, which is basically the breaking down of large molecule into smaller ones, we end up having hypoxanthine. Hypoxanthine basically gets converted into xanthine through the enzyme called, so from this step we go into this step through xanthine oxidase enzyme. Through this enzyme we move from hypoxanthine to xanthine and it's the same enzyme that converts xanthine to uric acid. So this enzyme works in this step and it works in this step as well. And what ends up happening is that due to the overproduction of uric acid we end up having a condition called hyperuricemia which is basically high amount of uric acid in the blood and due to the overproduction and overexcretion of uric acid this leads to precipitation of uric acid crystals in the renal tubules and what end up happening after this is basically AKI which is acute kidney injury so from this step over here through tumor lysis syndrome, we end up having high uric acid. So let's move into the other parts of the cell content. So in general, phosphate is basically up to four times more than the content of normal cells. So there is four more times content of phosphate in the cancer cells in comparison to normal cells. And from the purine catabolism, because DNA contains phosphate as well, we end up having, through these two pathways, high amount of phosphate in the blood, which in other words is hyperphosphatemia. And phosphate is a calcium chelating agent. Basically what happened in this step is that phosphate binds to calcium, leading to low amount of calcium in the body, so hypocalcemia. And when we have hypocalcemia, this leads to tetany or seizures. Tetany is basically intermittent muscular spasm. That's what tetany is. And when calcium, something to keep in mind, when calcium concentration times phosphate concentration exceed 60 milligrams square per deciliter square, we end up having risk of precipitation in the renal tubule, exactly where we ended up having over here with uric acid, so leading to AKI, which is acute kidney injury. So we could have this condition from two different pathways. So, so far we have high uric acid, high phosphate and low amount of calcium in the body. The fourth thing that tumor lysis syndrome leads to is basically high amount of potassium because these cells also contain potassium. And the role of potassium is basically what it does. It regulates the heartbeat to keep the heartbeat at pace. And what happened is that due to the high amount of potassium, 
This leads to a condition called hyperkalemia. And what hyperkalemia does is basically leads to irregular heartbeat, which in other words, it's arrhythmia. So this is it for this lecture. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.